Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to see about a post processor, which is the CSS selector extractor. So in this video, I will give you two examples of how to use the CSS selector extractor and I will explain you how does it work and what basically is CSS selector extractor and where can we use the CSS selector extractor. So before we move on to the video, this is me, Yavasan Shanmugam. I welcome you all to our Little Slaw YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please do thank me if you really want to thank. So there is a thanks button. You can thank me using the button. And if you really want to buy some membership, please do join our membership where you will get special one-to-one -one sessions for free and you'll get discounts for our boot camps. So now with no further delays, let's go to the video. So first let me show you how to add the CSS selector extractor. So now we are in the test plan and under this I'm going to add a thread group. Under the thread group, I'm going to add the sampler which is the HTTP request. So under the HTTP request, I'm going to add the CSS selector extractor, which is a post processor, the very first post processor here you can see, which is the CSS selector extractor. So I have chosen the CSS selector extractor. And now I will add a debug sampler and I will tell you why is it, why to add a debug sampler. So now under the HTTP request, sorry, I am selecting thread group and then I'm adding a debug sampler and finally let me add a view results tree listener so, so far we have configured we have added a thread group under this we have added a http request and then a css selector extractor and then a debug sampler which is the most effective and powerful tool in jmeter and in fact we can see that in a separate video of why and how effectively we can use the debug sampler and then we have the view results tree. So now let me configure the HTTP request. So I'm going to use our JPEG store application. So here is the protocol which is HTTPS and the server name. Let me get the server name which is the petstore.octopuff.com and then this request is again a GET request and the path of this is here, so I'm going to view the categories under the item docs. So now we have the selector extractor and then we have the debug sampler. So under the CSS selector extractor, I'm going to extract the products. So let me take the name as product names and then the expression. So let me add the expression here, the CSS selector expression. So let me I start with a hash symbol and then a catalog space td. Let me just show you td and then a colon and minus or hyphen child of one space a and then the match number. So if you are if I'm giving the match number as zero, then the random item will be chosen from the list of items. I'm choosing zero here. And then, so that's it. So there is no other thing. So I will explain you what does this catalog TD and child of one E stands for. And now I'm going to run this script. So I am, I'm not making any changes in the debug sampler. And here we are in the view results tree. So let me save this under the bin. And then let me create a new folder, which is the CSS. Selector extractor and then CSS selector extractor underscore one dot gmx save. So now we are good to start. So I'm running this script here. So here you can see the HTTP request has got with the result. So here you can see the result of this page and then under the debug sampler here you can see the product name so here the k9 bd minus zero one so let's see where does this come for this response 
so here you can see this has come as part of the one of the product ID so in fact this is actually a product ID let me change this name so this is just a product ID so in the view results tree if I'm going to the debug sampler and under the response body you can see we are extracting the JMeter variables and then the JMeter thread dot loss sample is okay is equal to true so the main thing which we have to see here is the JMX group index is equal to zero and then the thread group so this is the thread group one and for that we are running for the thread group which is the first iteration so for example if I'm running if I'm running like two iterations for this user and so here I have run so here you can see thread group one for one and then again this is one for one so in case if I'm running with two users let me execute it again so here you can see the third group has changed to the second user so this is the first iteration and the first iteration for the second user and the second iteration for the second user so now let me take you to the expression so what does this explains so firstly we will see the first part which is the hash catalog so this hash catalog targets an element with an attribute set to catalog so in the response we can see if I'm searching this with catalog here you can see the item we are targeting an element with the attribute set to catalog and then the item which is td so this td targets the td elements so if if we go here here you can see we are targeting the td elements that's why we are able to pick this value here which is the child one so that's the next thing so here we have described as the nth child of so we are targeting the first child element of its parent so here in this example if you see here we have two td elements so this is the first child element and in fact we have a second element i will explain you in, in a, the current example now so before that so this is the nth child one so that's why we have we have picked it up and then the final one which is the a this element the target a element the target it, it actually targets the a elements which are used for hyperlink so that is the reason we were able to pick it up so here you can see the value is targeting for this a value so which is the href so that's why we are targeting elements which are used for hyperlinks so with this i think you would have understood how does this regular expression works and let me give you another example as well so let me duplicate this and the only change which i'm going to do here is i'm going to just change the selector expression to a different selector expression so let me add the second selector expression here so this is almost a similar one to the previous one the catalog td stands the same because the catalog and then the td so what is the difference here is the catalog id is same but the nth child is going to be two and this is not the href element so now let me execute this so i'm running it now let me just clear it change this to just one thread group then coming back to the results tree let me run it so we have to add another debug sampler let me copy and paste it here so now we have added debug samplers for each of these HTTP requests so let me run the script again and going back to the view results tree so here you can see the very first CSS selector which you have seen in the first example where we are targeting the item under the catalog and then the TD element and then finally the end child one with the attribute of ahref but the second one which is just the catalog td with the nth child two and it goes this way so here you can see the product id is chikua 
and let me go back to the HTTP request and here you can see it's one of the item here so this is how the CSS selector extractor works and let me explain you what is the CSS selector extractor now so the CSS selector extractor in JMeter as I told you is a post processor that allows us to extract specific content from an HTML response using the CSS selectors so it's a very powerful tool for parsing HTML responses and extracting data for further processing or validation. So before that, let's see what's a CSS selector. So a CSS selector are patterns which are used to select and style HTML elements. So they define the criteria for selecting specific elements on a web page. So how does it helps us in JMeter? How, what is the usage in JMeter? So in JMeter, the CSS selector extractor is a post processor element that we can add to a HTTP request sampler like the way we did here. So we have added this CSS selector extractor to a HTTP request sampler. So after the HTTP request is sent and the response is received, the CSS selector extractor parses the HTML response and applies the specified CSS selector to extract the desired content like we did here. So we did it like with two examples. So it selects the specified or selects the extract or it extracts the desired content. So the configuration works in this way. So we have a reference name where we give the name under which the extracted value will be stored in a JMeter variable. And then we have a CSS selector. So this is the CSS selector pattern that matches the element that we want to request. And then when it comes to the attribute, so this is an optional element where we can specify an attribute if you want to extract an attribute value instead of the inner text. And then next comes the match number. So this specifies which occurrence of the matched element we want to extract and then finally the default value. So this is again an optional value where we can provide a default value to use if no match is found. So what are the advantages of using the CSS selector extractors? So the flexible data extraction. So CSS selectors offer a flexible way to extract specific data from HTML responses, which can be useful for validation or further processing and efficient parsing. So CSS selectors are efficient and widely used for selecting and manipulation, uh, sorry, manipulating DOM elements. So this makes the CSS selector extractor a powerful tool for extracting data. So what are the limitations? So if any tool that has some advantages that will have some limitations because that's how the tool is designed. So the limitations of this CSS selector extractor is the dependency on HTML structure. So it relies on the HTML structure being consistent. So if the HTML structure changes, the CSS selector may no longer match the desired element. And they are not suitable for non-HTML content. So it's specifically designed for parsing HTML content. So for non-HTML content or complex data structures, other extractors like regular expression extractor or JSON extractor may be more appropriate. And the third limitation is the limited to client-side content. So the CSS selectors can only extract content from what is rendered on the client side. So it does not interact with the server side data directly. So some of the use cases where we can use the uh, CSS selector extract selection uh, selector extractor are like web scrapping and data extraction where they can be useful for scrapping specific data from web pages uh, for analysis or testing purposes and for form validate form, form validation so for extracting form field values for validation against any expected values and finally for extracting links or URLs. So for extracting any links from HTML responses for subsequent requests, we can use this CSS selector extractor. So overall, in summary, this CSS selector extractor is a valuable tool for extracting specific content from HTML responses in JMeter, especially when dealing with web-based applications. And it provides a convenient way to parse and process web page content during load testing or other performance testing scenarios. So with that, I come to an end. Until I meet you in another interesting video, it's bye-bye from Asan Shanmugam and Little Slaw.